So um, I'm interested in birds, some of you may know. Uh, back in the 1960s, there were two eagle's nests in the lower mainland. Uh, now, there are more than 400 eagle's nests. And the reason we know that, and a lot of the reason for the change, uh, is due to uh, an outfit called the Hancock Wildlife Foundation. Uh, they've been working on eagle conservation in BC uh, since the 1960s. And uh, one of the things they do is they uh, build replacement nests. So if somebody like uh, Kinder Morgan is doing construction somewhere and they are going to disturb a tree that has an eagle's nest in it, they call in these guys to make a, a replacement nest for the eagles somewhere uh, away from the disturbance. Um, when they build these nests, they put in webcams. And so now they have, uh, they've been doing this since 2006, and they have more than 50 years worth of video footage of eagle nests. And the, most, all this data is currently sitting in boxes, uh, on hard drives in boxes in a barn in Delta. Uh, not doing anybody much good, but they really think that there's some opportunity here to learn a lot about eagle biology from this. The trouble is how to get a grad student to sit and watch 50 years worth of eagle videos, right? It's not, not easily going to happen. Five zero. Yeah. So um, uh, it's just like 56 or something like that, and they're getting somewhere around 12 days of video every day uh, from the cameras they've got. So it, when I heard these guys talk, it occurred to me that this is a wonderful opportunity for machine learning. We've got a vast amount of data, uh, some relatively easy to detect objects, and uh, maybe we can learn something from that. Now the problem is, of course, the data isn't labeled. And if you could play that first video there, please. The, the top one, yeah, that's good. So I just ran a standard YOLO uh, algorithm, the you, you only look once, uh, for doing object detection on a bit of a couple of segments of Eagle's Nest video. You can see it's doing a pretty good job detecting the, uh, uh, the eggs there. It's calling them sports balls, but so what? Uh, it's easy to retrain. Uh, and it gets the eagle when it comes in, too. It uh, occasionally thinks its head is a separate bird, but you know you can understand why it might do that. The eagle's head is pretty distinctive there. Uh, it's definitely not a carrot. Um, but standard tools that are available today do a not bad job. So the first step here would be to do some basic labeling. The biologist can learn a lot of useful stuff just by knowing whether an eagle is present in the nest, when the eagle arrives, when it leaves, whether there are eggs present in the nest, that kind of thing. So I need some help, though. There's 50 years of data is more than I can host. Uh, I'm really hoping we can find a sponsor somewhere to help me get that data online where people can work on it. Uh, a big company like Microsoft or Google or uh, um, uh, Amazon would, uh, would help a lot with that, but somebody else uh, might be willing to do it. Maybe we can do it in universities. I'm looking for people who are interested in working with me on figuring out how to do some labeling using some basic techniques so that we can then maybe go to the next step and take it to a platform like uh, uh, Zooniverse, or some people may know about Galaxy Zoo. It's a free platform where people can put research programs on and citizen scientists, volunteers will then look at that data and help you with labeling it. So it's a really cool opportunity, um, kind of a neat project. Uh, I th will plan to try to build relationships with uh, profs in both the biology and machine learning uh, areas at SFU and UBC. If you can help me build those relationships and uh, uh, have contacts, uh, I would appreciate uh, hearing more about that. This project is just getting started. I've got, spoke with the guys two days ago. I've got two hard drives of their data in my machine at home. I've done this video and another one that's got some fledglings in it that I could show you, but uh, I think we're close to the end of my time. Sure, why don't you run it? Uh, and then, um, yeah, so you can see we're detecting the fledglings again pretty well, and we'll see the adult fly in in a few minutes, uh, or less than a minute, because each of these videos is a minute long. But anyway, so if somebody's interested in, in working on this or thinks you can help me find resources to get the thing online and uh, get it ramped up, I would really be happy to talk to you later. I haven't yet, no, two days ago. Uh, I'm going up to SFU to talk to a biology prof tomorrow. I might see if I can squeeze in a visit with Dave. That's it. Oh, well, the biologists will be interested in things like how often do the chicks get fed, uh, how much time do the uh, adults uh, spend sitting on the nest versus leaving the things alone. But uh, you can ask me more questions later. So thanks very much for giving me the time. Yeah, thank you.